up guys welcome back to another episode of donaldson's kitchen so you want to know how to make restaurant mashed potatoes that's right restaurant mashed potatoes that whipped creamy yummy restaurant mashed potatoes for a while now i used to think i used to make the best mashed potatoes until i went to one of my favorite restaurants longhorn steakhouse and i had their mashed potatoes and man it was mind-blowing delicious just amazing so I was like, man, how can I make restaurant mashed potatoes like Longhorn Steakhouse? So I've mastered how to make it. And today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make it every step of the way. So come on in, let's go. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, as promised, I'm gonna show you guys how to make restaurant mashed potatoes. Me, I love mashed potatoes, especially like if they're like amazing, they taste great, it looks amazing, you know the drill. But today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make those exact same mashed potatoes. I remember going to parties, like family parties, and like the way they used to make the potatoes was just not the way, you know what I'm saying? Like, I tried it at Longhorn Steakhouse, like I said. It was not like that yummy, whipped, creamy mashed potatoes. Before, they would just like take the mashed potatoes and just like, they would take the potatoes actually, and just mash them up and add butter to it. But I thought that was the best mashed potatoes because that's what I was used to until I decided to get out of my comfort zone to learn how to make the best mashed potatoes. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today right now. Let's go. So for this recipe, guys, all you will need is potatoes, red potatoes, or you can use any potatoes you like, but I like red potatoes when it comes to mashed potatoes. 2% milk, parsley flakes, butter, whipped cream cheese, and salt and pepper to taste. First thing first, I'm gonna go wash out my potatoes, guys, and we're gonna move on to the next step. After washing out my potatoes, you're more than welcome to leave them like this when you're boiling it, but I feel like it takes too long, so I like cutting mine into smaller pieces like this. <laughs> To cut them like this small into pieces because that way they take less time to cook so if you leave it like this it's gonna take a while but if you do it like this it's gonna take less time to cook i got my potatoes nicely cut up i'm gonna add it to my pot and then we're gonna add in about five cups of water You're more than welcome to season your potatoes with salt and pepper after when you're like mashing it. But me, I like to put the salt while it's boiling so that way I don't have to go back and add additional salt or add salt when I'm mashing the potatoes. It just gets the job done for me just boiling it in the salt water. So I add one tablespoon of salt. Just like that, guys. Now I'm gonna cover the potatoes and set the burner on high this and we're gonna let this baby boil i'll see you guys in about 10 minutes so it's been 10 minutes and my potatoes are boiling now i'm gonna let it sit for about another 20 minutes and check it again so guys it's been 20 minutes and it seems like the potatoes are ready but i gotta tell you one thing i've noticed i've mastered about mashed potatoes is that the longer you boil it the softer it is the better the mashed potatoes that yummy that creamy the mashed potatoes that you want so you want to check it like this and oh my god look at this it's soft guys you can tell it is this is what you want you want it to be as soft as is possible i promise you won't regret it so the potatoes are good nice and soft now i'm gonna go drain that water guys and move on to the next part and now we're gonna take a potato masher and mash this potato as fine as possible guys also, I like to use the same pan that I, you know, I make the potatoes in because I don't like to use a bunch of stuff. Like you're more than welcome to move it to another pan, pot, whatever you want to mash it in, but I'm going to mash it in the same pot. So we mash it, just like this guys. Look how soft that is, like I'm not even using a lot of effort. Because remember when I said you want to get as soft as possible when you're boiling it, Boil it till like it can no longer boil. <laughs> Believe me. Look at this, guys. 
amazing. So I finished mashing the potatoes, guys, and look how they look. Amazing. It's not over yet, though, but remember how I told you that this is how my family used to make it. Like, they would just mash it and put butter in it. And I thought it was amazing because, you know, it tastes great. But I'm about to show you guys my way, so stay tuned. So now, guys, we're going to add a half cup of milk, sour potatoes, or mashed potatoes. Just like this. And then we're going to set the burner on low, like this, guys. Put it on low. Once the burner is on, you want to start mixing this in, guys. Melt the butter with the milk in it. Just toss it around. Just move it around, guys, just like this. You wanna mix everything in until the butter melts and the milk has evaporated. Just like that, guys, look at this. We're not even done yet. Looking good. So after the butter melts and the milk has evaporated, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of cream cheese, whipped cream cheese, guys. This is the secret. And then also you wanna add in your, your parsley. If you don't wanna use parsley, you're more than welcome to use chives, but I'm gonna use parsley just like this, guys. Bam. And you just mix that bad, bad boy in. Mix it in, guys. That's how you get your good mashed potatoes. There you go. Keep stirring. That's how you make restaurant whipped mashed potatoes, guys. Just keep stirring that bad boy in there. You see how creamy this is? Look at this. Oh my God, look at this. Let's keep going, guys. That's pretty much it, guys. Restaurant with mashed potatoes. Look, oh my God. This is heaven on earth. Stay tuned, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get a drum roll for you? The moment we've been waiting for. Blah, Oh my God, guys. Just look at this. Restaurant whipped mashed potatoes. Salmon on the side. Oh my god, just look at this, guys. Look how juicy this thing is. It's amazing. It's mouth watering. I know I can't finish this video by trying this potato, mashed potato masterpiece. This one's for you guys. to try this believe me guys once again thank you guys for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends share it with whoever around the world after you make this video leave a comment below let me know i came out for you thank you guys again for watching until next time yeah.